The premise of this video is twofold. The first was to gauge at what speed the veteran Sherman started to beep, and the second was to compare its first beep to its nemesis, the 100V MSX. What's up, YouTube, and all your Kingston Godway enthusiasts and all Shermanators? This is V coming at you this Friday morning. Get my workout in just before I go out here and tackle that veteran Sherman. Yes, that's right. Getting my workout in before I tackle the veteran Sherman. As you guys already know, that machine is a beast when it comes down to weight. I think I pulled a muscle in my back and my leg messing with it Monday. So with that being said, I'm not going to hold you guys up because I know you didn't come here to watch me lift weights. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. The first two clips are of me riding the 100 volt MSX. The first clip I had only gotten the MSX up to 42 miles per hour. The second clip I was able to get it up to 46.1 miles per hour. The third and fourth clips are of me riding the Veteran Sermon. Because there is no app for me to work from, I had downloaded a speedometer. The first clip, I was able to push the Sherman between 41 and 42 miles per hour. The second clip, I was able to get it up to 45 miles per hour. During both clips, you can hear the beeps. However, during the first clip, I monitored my speed and was able to gauge the first beep to sound at 41 miles per hour going into 42 miles per hour. All right, so I believe I got my first beep at 41. I gotta go back and check. So given that five miles per hour or five mile uh, buffer, I'm looking at 46 top. So I was close to reaching the cutoff speed according to um, what we in the EUC community have been gauging for the cutoff. So. Uh, which is interesting, I have the 100 volt MSX and I have the uh, Veteran with me and when I did the deadlift for the 100 volt, it cuts off at 95.7, this one at 100, so we're looking at a basically it's a small narrow of margin here, where in this wheel, where it stands, because I do understand, I haven't delved into it, I haven't really delved into it, but I understand that they are using the uh, old Godway firmware. Uh, so, as it stands, this wheel, although it's capable of reaching 50 miles per hour, where it stands at now with my weight, again, I, I'm at 127. If I round up and I'm getting my first beeps at 41, I'm quite sure once they start tweaking, hopefully, the firmware, um, this wheel can reach up to its potential with the motor and battery size, but as it stands right now, this is just, um, this wheel is not going to make it to 50 miles per hour. That's just my opinion. I know there's other people out there that's gonna try to push that envelope, but I'm out here, and from my take, it's just not worth trying to push this wheel to 50 miles per hour when I reach 45, and I got again, I have to go back and listen to, uh, hopefully I have it recorded, listen to the beeps. But at higher speeds, although I heard the beeps, they were faint and I couldn't count how many I, I heard. The MSX, I can't hear the beeps at all. I already, I already know at 42, basically miles per hour, I am getting the beeps, which is interesting because I'm actually getting my beeps at the same uh, time with the, um, veteran so i'm just going to try and do some maneuvers and compare the two but right now as it stands the veteran as far as speed is not really blowing the 100 volt msx out of the water all right huh. now i have the daunting task of picking this bad boy up but i found an easier way on my back and my legs to pick it up always got to remember from the legs. I grab it from underneath. Grab the roll bars. 
and I lift it up and into the trunk. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe, comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Easy Until next pie. time, deuces.